Hey everyone, Brett Kelly here for another Tuesday Tech Tip of 45 Drives, but um, I guess it's less of a tech tip this week and more tech news. Uh, pretty big news in the open source world. Uh, some of you may be aware already and some may be learning for the first time right now. Um, Red Hat and the CentOS community has, well, I guess in their words, a shifting focus away from CentOS Linux as a downstream rebuild of RHEL and moving their focus to the upstream build of CentOS Stream. And, uh, well, put that more bluntly, like, what, what, is, what does that mean? Well, it means that they're killing off CentOS Linux. And, uh, well, what's going to happen next? So... All right, so let's add a little context to what this announcement uh, kind of means. Um, there's always been three RHEL products. Well, kind of, as far as I've been in the game here, there's been three RHEL products. There's Fedora, there's RHEL, so Red Hat Enterprise Linux, and CentOS. Um, Fedora was always kind of the testing ground, the bleeding edge. New, new tech out of, out of Red Hat would hit Fedora once it's kind of determined, great, ready to go, it would feed itself into RHEL, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, which is their paid main product. And then CentOS was a community rebuild of the RHEL product. So what that meant was you got all your testing and changes done in Fedora, the big paid supported project from Red Hat, RHEL, and then CentOS was the rebuilt version of RHEL. So you got a very stable, solid product for free. And a lot of people have benefited from that over the last few years, us included at 45 Drives. So since this announcement, what, it, what has happened is those three products still exist, but it's, it's kind of more of what happened is Fedora was kind of tracking so far ahead that it's not really a great testing ground for, for, um, for RHEL anymore. Um, and CentOS took so long to get new rebuilds of versions out, you kind of had this gray area of new stuff in RHEL. And I don't know, I guess the heads up at, at Red Hat realized that that needed to change. So what they're doing is they're, they're killing off the downstream rebuild of CentOS Linux. And they're renaming it CentOS Stream. And it's kind of like, if you can imagine, it's just kind of moving ahead of RHEL in the, in the chain, right in between Fedora and, and, uh, and, and RHEL. So what that means, unfortunately, to all of us people who have been benefiting from CentOS Linux, is that we no longer will have our fun, stable, fun, why did I say fun? Our stable, solid, great product that is CentOS Linux. Um, but all hope is not lost. We still have CentOS 7. They are supporting CentOS 7 until 2024. The only downside is CentOS E7 is a bit of an aging product. It works great, it's stable as all hell, but it is missing some of the newer features that are coming. For example, one thing I'm fighting with this transition right now is LS block, a command in, in CentOS 8 has a JSON flag now, and that's not there in 7. So there's all kinds of like, there's a couple bumps and stuff like that. But again, like we still have CentOS Linux. We have that for another four years. We do still have one more year of CentOS 8. They are officially ending it December 2021. I didn't mention that. But no one, no one really can recommend anyone to like build an enterprise product on CentOS 8 Linux right now because it is going away. So, but anyway, CentOS 7 is still here and there's tons of other distributions, a ton, maybe not tons anymore, but there are other, other distributions we can use. There's Ubuntu, there's OpenSUSE, SUSE, I never say those right, um, Debian. Um, there are other great options here. Um, uh, and actually, matter of fact, I wanna make it clear too that like, they're just stopping working on building CentOS. They're, they're, they're not locking the code. This is still open source. Someone can still pull all this code down and rebuild it. Matter of fact, how did CentOS start in the first place? Well, a guy named Greg, who, and I should have looked up his last name for this video, so sorry, Greg, but he is the original um, developer who said, I'm going to rebuild RHEL as community enterprise operating system, as CentOS. And he, I believe, left the project a bit ago, and now he is, thrown his hat back in the ring and said, oh, no, no, we're starting this again. And he's temporarily called this Rocky Linux, and it's up on GitHub if you want to check it out. I think we'll, we'll put the link in the description. And there's a lot of activity already of people wanting to help. Um, so, yeah, like I said, all hope is not lost. 
this is a decision that has been made by Red Hat, and and some people will, people are just mad, right? Like, and, and rightfully so. Um, they feel betrayed a little bit. They did say they were going to support CentOS 8 until 2029. Um, and they're obviously not anymore. <laughs> Eight years sooner than they said. Um, some people are blaming IBM. IBM bought Red Hat a year or so ago and that they're doing this to screw all us guys over. But I don't think they're doing that. It's a business at the end of the day. They, they know, they identified a hole in their product and it's their best interest to make their product as best as possible. And this is what they're choosing to do. So as engineers, as builders, like, we should be excited. We get to turn a new page. What's that old saying? Uh, sorry, I'm going to butcher this. It's all cheesy. But like, sometimes you got to knock a tree down in a forest to let the other ones grow. So you see one of these giants fall like this, but who knows what's going to pop up. Maybe it's Rocky Linux. Maybe one of the other uh, canonicals Ubuntu. Maybe Open, OpenSUSE is, steps in and, and fills everyone's need here. Um, I know I'm kind of excited. I was a little like, oh no, this is crazy. But now I'm kind of like, okay, great. Like, let's get creative. Let's solve a new problem. So um, that's kind of it. That, that's, that's, it's, it's big news. It's, it's big news in the open source world. There's a lot of people affected by this and, uh, and we're one of them. So uh, um, stay tuned. We'll be talking about this stuff more often. And uh, <laughs> actually, you know what? I'm going to leave you on one funny note. Uh, <laughs> so, so Red Hat is killing CentOS. And everyone's going, oh, a big evil corporation getting rid of it. Anyway, um, people are asking, where do I go? What, what are my other options? And like I said, you've got all these other distributions. But someone's like, no, 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 I want to use a RHEL rebuild. Well, <laughs> Oracle Linux still offer, offers their RHEL rebuild, which they have a current RHEL 8 rebuild. And they've actually, um, they've kind of put a page up saying, hey, all you CentOS users, come on over here. But uh, if anyone knows Oracle's track record on, uh, well, I'm not going to go into the details here, but you, that, that's a big LOL. All right, well, that's it. Um, that was a big piece of news in the open source world and felt that uh, we really wanted to take some time to share that with everyone. Um, anyway, yeah, big news, big ripples from this. So uh, you'll definitely be hearing more about this decision and its, and its ripples uh, from us in the future. And um, well, I guess that's it. We'll see, you guys, yeah, we'll see everyone next week.